As far back as I can remember, my dad would beat my mom, break her nose and black eyes and things like that. We had a family portrait. My dad had beat my mom up and made her smile for the camera. After my mom and dad got divorced, my dad broke into our house with a shotgun, blew a huge hole through my mom's bedroom door. But had I came out my room, he probably would have blown my head off. I was raised by him to fight. I was always suspended for fighting. He would actually tell me, if you don't win, you're gonna get a whooping when you come home. I would fight my siblings all the time. I actually took a meat cleaver to one of my sister's ankles. That's just what I was used to. It's like, wow, you were a little monster. That was your sister. In 2010, my mother passed away. I went into a very deep depression where I couldn't work, so I lost my home. I was lost. I had to give up or give it to God, and I chose God. My father reached out to me to live with him. After about a year, there was one month where I couldn't pay the full amount. That's when things just really started to get really hostile. His wife would take the oven racks out of the oven. We would have a battle sometimes with the heater. I would turn it on, she would go in and turn it off. We couldn't use the water to take baths or showers. They said they wanted me to get out. And one day, I picked my daughter up from school and came back that evening, and they had just changed the locks. I'm calling on my cell phone, and I'm banging on the door and ringing the doorbell, and I can see them sitting right in the living room watching TV. They just sat there and ignored us. I drove to Walmart, the parking lot, and I said, we're just going to have to sleep here. We're homeless. So I went down to the Solano County Social Service where you can get a motel voucher for 16 days. It was close to the 16th day. A lady that I had went and looked at an apartment called me and said that they were gonna give me the apartment. And this is with no job, no money, no down payment, no anything. God had to be in the midst of all that because who does that? I was in a Bible study one night at the Salvation Army. The pastor asked for prayer requests. And so I put mine out there and he had this look on his face like, really, you're looking for a job? Well, what do you do? What is your background? And so I told him and he's like, hmm, give me your resume ended up getting the job here. Mind you, I had moved in that apartment with nothing, no income or anything in May and June 3rd, I had a job. Again, that was God, just aligning everything up um, for us to be there. Um, yeah, sorry. Just like all these emotions and stuff are really coming up for me right now. <sighs> hmm. So now, I am the human resources generalist here for the Salvation Army Crop Center. I began to sing on the worship team here. I'm in a really good place. I'm happy. God, it's your will. Whatever you have in store, it will be. And that's the way I approach things now. When I embraced my dad, the anger wasn't there anymore. I truly forgave him and turned the whole situation and him over to God. While our relationship isn't typical, I reach out to him just to check on him and let him know that I love him. I'm still a fighter, right? But I'm fighting for Christ, fighting for the kingdom. I want people to know that homelessness doesn't look a certain way. I would come to church and I didn't tell people that I was homeless. And once they found out, people were saying, oh, I never knew, I never knew. People did say, we could have helped you. We could have let you come and stay with us for a little while. If you're gonna open your heart to God, open your heart to God's people as well. Once you really are open to God, he, just, he begins to show you who he is and that he's there and that he's present. We're gonna be a fun time this evening where we get to recognize some uh, excellent achievement. I wish I could give an award to everybody. You've done such an amazing job. But just for the first portion of this evening's program, we have some awards, some certificates to give out just to recognize outstanding achievement at TMI. I do want to welcome those folk 
uh, sitting around a computer somewhere around the world, seeing if their little boy or girl has won something this evening. Welcome, uh, wide world out there. We can all wave at the camera and just say, hi, mum. That'd be great. Okay. We are really pleased to have uh, with us this evening our divisional leaders, Ronnie and Sharon Raymer from the Texas Division. Please stand. And our territorial leaders, Commissioners Don and Debbie Bell. These are the people that write the checks and make it happen. So listen. That's, that, absolutely, that's why we thank them, because they make this camp possible, and we really appreciate their support. Thank you so much. Uh, we were able to uh, enjoy an excellent uh, piano recital this afternoon. Let's give it up to all our piano players this afternoon for a great job. And we've enjoyed our special guest of the week. I'm wondering if Stephen is with us. Stephen Buller, is he in the house? He's on his way, is that what I'm being told? I see his golf cart coming, steaming this way. That's good news. Okay. Well, we're in for a fun time just now. Uh, the, the deal is we give a, an award for each class, and then you come up, uh, we take a photograph uh, with myself and Steve, and then you get to choose something from the magic table. So let's see what we've got on the magic table tonight. We have the latest... Territorial Songs to CD, All That Is In Me Praise. Oh, it's a little bit hot off the press. Okay, well, of course we have the Territorial Band War and Peace CD. Songs My Father Loved To Hear, Sally Broughton, there she is at the back. What else have we got? We've got some Spiritual To The Bone, awesome. I see uh, some transmission uh, t things for your bag to sew on or something, stick on. There's a, there's a songbook of the Salvation Army up here. It's leather bound, leather bound. No, ex I don't know. I think it's the 1946 version. This is the breathing gym. Let's see if you want to breathe. Please breathe. Here we have some mugs from the Script Writers Conference. Very nice, like that. There's some water bottles here. There's the contemporary guitarist. Whoop, whoop, Jimmy Cox, the contemporary guitarist. There's a copy of the National Creative Arts Curriculum in Dance and Drama. Some light reading. Brass bands of the Salvation Army, their mission and their music. Here it is. Um... Let's see, there's a CD by Ronnie Murchison called Breakthrough. Have you heard of that? Pretty good. Pretty good. And what else have we got? Moving with the Spirit, Dance Instructional DVD. There's a Frisbee. Let's see how good I am at throwing a Frisbee. Who wants it? There it is. It's going all the way to Argentina. Awesome. So, when your name, if your name is called, you come up, you take a beautiful photo with me. I'm hoping all our award winners are fairly short this evening. And uh, have I seen Stephen in the house yet? Who's on Stephen watch? Okay. Daryl Crosland. Go get our special guest, will you please? Where's Daryl? <laughs> My cart's out there, Daryl. Okay. Awesome. Are we ready? Okay. We're going to make a start here. Really enjoyed the ward band last night, the Pioneers, a great march. They played it very well. And the winner of the ward band class award is Anna Meeks of the Georgia Division. Come join me, Anna.
This is my kind of award winner, you know what I mean? Makes me look good. Good job, Anna. Off you go. You get something from that table. Anna's a pretty good catcher. Pretty good baseball player, softball player as well. Awesome. Okay. The Hall Band, they were jazzing it up last night, weren't they? Yeah, they were rocking and rolling. Really enjoyed that. Was it two nights ago? Feels like three weeks. Okay. The winner of the Hall Band Class Award, one of the soloists two nights ago, Toby Gillam of ALM. The Longino Band enjoyed Asmon Variations. Andy Barrington, thank you for that piece of music. That was awesome. Good job. And winning the Longino Band Class Award from NCV and Canada, Alexis Dill. There's no height requirement on these awards, I promise you. I'm loving it. Good job, Alexis. Enjoy my moment. I suppose we need to give something to the Holtz band, do we? I suppose we will. They played really well last night. Valley of the Adena. Two nights ago, Valley of the Adena. Excellent composition and really enjoyed that. And winning the... TMI 2017, Bandmaster Richard Holtz. Let's just have Bandmaster Richard Holtz stand real quick. Where is he? I just like to check that he's here and doing what he's supposed to be doing. The Bandmaster Richard Holtz Band Class Award goes to Anthony Barrington of AOK. Something's gone wrong with the award winners, suddenly. Okay. Where's Alexis? Come back. Can you get us all in on one picture? You might want to go long ways. Good job. Awesome. Stephen Bullet, everybody. In the house. Stay here. Stay here. Your job is not done. You're helping me out tonight, brother. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I suppose we need to give some chorus awards out. There was kind of an African thing going on in the Ditma Chorus. A couple of shakers. Okay, it was pretty cool. The Commissioner Stanley Ditma Chorus Class Award goes to Kyle McElroy from ALM. I feel like, he's a good friend of mine, so I can say this. I feel like I'm doing my best Andy Miller. You know, when you're talking about something slightly inappropriate, you know. I love you, Andy. I love you. The Commissioner Paul Kellner Chorus Class Award. Didn't the ladies do a lovely job? Thank you, Betty, for your leadership there. Sarah Garrett of the AOK Division.
Good job, Laura Dake on the camera. Love it. Appreciate uh, Christopher Priest and his communications bureau webcasting this feed all around the world. I wonder how far our webcasts go. He led the Anderson Chorus uh, last night and he has awarded Erlan Bravo from Bolivia as the Anderson Chorus <laughs> Class Award. Awesome. The Cox Chorus Award winner, Sidney Cox. He wrote songs that were scriptural, singable, simple. He wrote them quickly, and it was great to see the uh, Sidney Cox Chorus under the leisure of Matthew Broom two nights ago. And the winner for that chorus is Raquel Furtado from Brazil. <laughs> Hold on a minute. What's going on over here? Okay. Thank you. Awesome. Well done, Raquel. Choose something from the table. See, the problem is I'm not a hugger, you know, so don't come hug me, but Europeans and South Americans, they like a, like a good hug. Okay, the TMI chorus, it's a brutal class, let me tell you. Sarah Daniels from the Florida Division. Okie Koki. We have more. We have more. I mentioned our uh, piano majors, and uh, good job they did this afternoon. Really enjoyed every uh, participant in that concert, and appreciated the audience uh, having dignity and decorum throughout that. It was just a really nice event earlier today. And the winner for this year is Isabella Webb from the ALM division. <laughs> You might not know this, but that is Betty Hathorn's niece. Is that right? Awesome. Worship team one. I think we have three worship teams here this year, such as the demand. I'm, I'm going to give you some clues there. Firstly, I'm going to mess up this name because it's tricky. It's from a division that hasn't won one yet. Estic Rodriguez, North and South Carolina. I suppose if we give one to worship team one, we better give one to worship team two. Hmm. Is 
Israel Mercado from the Florida Division. Worship Team 3. From further afield. Our international delegates really enrich our experience at TMI, don't they? Yeah. Don't they? They really do. David Juarez from Argentina. I was asking him if it's uh, David or David or David or David, but it's Dave. He likes Dave. Everyone say, hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. There it is. Okay. The uh, Creative Arts team took us on a journey last night. Uh, two nights and really enjoyed that. And later on, tomorrow I suppose, uh, each group will be performing in kind of a little sequence, a little number. And the Alpha Dance Majors Class Award is presented to someone from a large division. Takima Aranda from Texas. Now, I need a bit of help with this, because I always mash this pronunciation. How do you say that word, Steve? Omega. Okay. Not, <laughs> I, I, it's a, Omega. We invented it. It's an English word. <laughs> I'm an American now, so I'll take Steve's pronunciation. Omega Dance Majors Class Award. <laughs> Cheyenne Greenaway, North South Carolina. We have the Larson Drama Awards. Drama Awards. Drama. This division is on a roll. Abigail Wutica from the NSC. You really are a noisy bunch, NSC, aren't you? <laughs> Dignity, I think you get it from Leon. I can never keep him under control. He's just constantly shouting. Well done. The Gowans Drama Majors Class Award. I just want to say I love this name. Hope Harris, Florida. <laughs>
Yeah. For the first time at TMI, a musical theatre class award. I saw some very dramatic people. And we're looking forward to their presentation tomorrow. This year's inaugural musical theatre class award goes to Jenna Moad from Texas. <laughs> see you judging me on the second row. I'm trying to suck in on these photos. I can see you, Joshua. I'll call you out. Joshua's such a nice boy. Okay. We had a great time in choral leadership. Uh, we need more choral leaders in the Salvation Army, just as we need more piano players and more of everything, really. And uh, just had a good time watching these uh, young people uh, develop. And this year's class award goes to Rachel Wiley of the NCV division. Okay, we got a couple more. Worship team leadership. I don't think this division has yet to receive an award this evening, so that's good. So let's give it to Morgan Dye of the KT division. making Stephen Buller work this week, aren't we? Up here, handing out things and getting our money's worth. Appreciate that, Steve. You having a good time? All week. What's your favourite part of TMI? I'm going to put him on the spot just because I can. TMI chorus? Oh, well, I appreciate it. Of course. Of course. Okay. We've had a wonderful time in instrumental leadership. Really appreciate Dr. Richard Holtz, Dr. Steve Kellner taking leadership there. And I, I do want to just say uh, we need to still be in prayer for Dr. Ron Holtz and Dr. B. Holtz. They were due to be here. But just a few weeks ago, uh, uh, Ron called me to say, I think I've got a little procedure and I probably won't make it to TMI and maybe B. Will. And the uh, procedure was pretty serious. And Ron is in a long-term recovery, really, doing very well, making excellent progress, but it's a long-term thing. And uh, B is sending us updates on a regular basis. But in your prayers tonight and through these days, please pray for Ron and for B. I know you will. He normally takes the leadership of that particular class. And the winner this year is Terry Wood from Florida. <laughs> Now, just before you go, Terry, you know, Terry would, but I wouldn't. Uh, you know, if I had a daughter, you know, that was your age, this, he's that kind of, he's a good egg. He's a good catch. Right, somebody said amen back there. Okay, so just turn to the out there. 
Somebody said amen. Uh, Terry, how many years have you come to TMI? Uh, this is my fifth year. Awesome. And what's your favourite part of TMI? Uh, band. Yeah, he's a band geek. And Terry has a really rich collection of records. Those are little things that go round and they play music before the round things you put in. You don't even know what CDs are, do you? No. Okay. And Terry, we really appreciate who you are and uh, all the other award winners this, uh, this afternoon. Let's give it up for Terry Wood one more time. I want to tell you something funny. It's not a joke. I don't do jokes. Me and the commissioner are like that. We don't do jokes. Uh, he's going soon anyway. It's all right. Oh, I'm digging a hole here. I'm digging a hole. Help me out. Okay, here's something funny. Yeah. I had a young man at my table, and I asked permission to share this story with you. And he said to me uh, just a couple of days ago, so, uh, who's going to take over TMI next year? Because there have been rumours that Evelyn is going to retire, and this would be her 20th and final TMI. And he said, who's going to take over TMI? Is it going to be you, Nick? Are you going to take over TMI next year? And I kind of thought, uh, what do you mean by that? Uh, he said, well, you know, are you going to replace Evelyn uh, next year? And, uh, cause, and he said something beautiful at the end of that. Uh, he said, because Evelyn is the face of TMI. And I thought that was a beautiful thing for him to say. And uh, there is, uh, it is true to say uh, that you have received so many emails and so much information from Evelyn, and she really does make this camp tick. And I have a wonderful staff, and if uh, anything has gone well this week, it's because of my team around me. But um, uh, Evelyn in particular, uh, she has said this is her last uh, TMI. And, um, and her daughters have definitely told me this is her last TMI. I'm under strict orders on that. And we have appreciated... Uh, I think she'd better come and join me. I think that would be nice. Come on, Evelyn. Where are you? Where are you? And with Evelyn uh, this year uh, is her husband, Wayne. Why don't you stand and, and receive the applause of everyone here? Wayne Polkin. Come here. Evelyn is not the spotlight type of person, and she's not the uh, emotional type of person to make a grandiose speech or anything like that. But um, we really do appreciate what you've done over the years. Before my time, I know Dr. Holtz feels exactly the same. Uh, all that detail, all that work, uh, I just can't imagine uh, all the things that you've had to do. I know, it's coming. Uh, but I want to say, in, in my uh, short tenure, uh, that how deep I appreciate your work, for, particularly for TMI. And it really is all around the year. But something at TMI uh, is very special for Evelyn. She loves it. She loves you. She loves our ministry. Uh, Evelyn is a wonderful Christian lady, a wonderful example to all of us. And Andy Miller, if ever we approach a line in our department, I know I can count on Evelyn to say, I think you're approaching the line. <laughs> and, uh, and, that, and she's kind of our conscience that way. Um, I, I want to put this the right way, but something of a, a mother in the department uh, who has nurtured us, spoken into our lives, and I want to just say a special thank you to Evelyn. We have a little presentation for you just now, and I'm going to make you stand up here and be embarrassed for a few minutes. So uh, why don't you stand over here, Evelyn? Because uh, what you might not know about Evelyn is she writes music, and we're going to hear some of her music in a minute. Here's some beautiful flowers. Georgia, why don't you go give them to Evelyn? Let's give it up for Evelyn Polkin. <laughs> now, it's not in her job description to write music, but she has uh, several uh, pieces published by the Salvation Army, the USA Southern Territory, and lots of lots of other music published for other organizations. <laughs> and she's a fine piano player. And what I love about Evelyn's music is it's definitely scriptural, nearly always entirely from scripture, as is the case with this song. So our children from the daycare who've been preparing this piece all week are gonna sing this, and we're gonna dedicate this to Evelyn Polkin. This is John 3.16. Let's give the kids some encouragement.
here let's just take a moment let's find out who we think their parents might be and just a uh, shout out let's start uh, with this young man over here anybody he's a Miller he's a Miller we got two other Millers where well, there's well, there's Andy Miller the fourth bless his heart and here's Georgia over here being shy okay who have we got here on the back we've got a brother and a sister who do they belong to what are your parents' names? Heather and Heather Tom Hanton. Oh, awesome. Heather and Tom Hanton. Okay. Who's on the shaker at the back? Tall and quiet. Betty and Jason. Betty and Jason. So have all. Okay. And who have we got over here? Someone was conducting really well. Who's this? What's your name? Wesley. What's your last name, Wesley? Barrington. He's a Barrington. There's a Barrington. Who have we got over here? Okay. Who does this look? A beautiful singer, maybe. Nelson. Intelligent, bright. Who are your parents? What are they called? Snelson. They're the Snelsons. We got it. Direct and to the point. What's, what's your daddy's name? This is Jimmy Cox's little girl. Bless her heart. Are you, you're a bit shy. I'm sorry. I'll go away. I'll wander over here. Jimmy Cox. Okay. Okay, who else have we got here? Right, what about this one? What are your parents' names? Jeff Robin and Emily Robbins. Jeff and Emily Robbins. Awesome. Great to see you. Who didn't I get? There's a Meeks up here. Another Meeks. Okay, did I miss anyone out here? Tell me if I... Oh, okay, and Noah. Noah's uh, uh, related to Sarah Kovarebius, who really helps us at TMI get all our organisation. It's great to see you, Noah. Did I get... Oh, I got a couple of boys here. Oh! This is a good-looking boy. Where could he come from? Yeah, and that's the naughty one. Let's give it up for the kids. And Evelyn. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna take a break of six minutes and we're gonna be in our places for an eight o'clock downbeat for the solo night. This is your opportunity to use the facilities. Take every opportunity. 